full one, throttle. One, two, three, go. Johnny Nerd out here. Today we got a very special guest, Aaron up from Grin, came all the way down from Canada. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be doing a performance test. He's got his hub motor bike. They're brand new, well, brand new, it's been about a year? Uh, about a year, yeah. It's brand new. Uh, against the tried and true 15 year old, long in the tooth, Bafang BBS HD. Let's see how these things perform against each other. Uh -huh. We're gonna, can you topple the king? The Grin Max 45 all axle is our fat bike version of the all axle motor. So it fits on 170 millimeter wide dropouts and 190 and 195 in the rear. But it has a torque sensor built in right to the cassette free hub body. So as soon as you install it, you already got a torque sensor, which is awesome. And the regenerative braking on this thing is fantastic. You can come to a complete stop and like almost all so how does that work really quick show me how that works on the throttle uh, i yeah, was playing so around with this this is here, awesome basically uh the battery's just, not connected but it. you twist the throttle forward here and that's regenerative braking you twist it back and that's throttle so, i will say that uh blew me away i'm not gonna it's give this nice yeah. yeah it's called a bi-directional throttle it's, this is running the phase runner motor controller we manufacture that right in canada we manufacture this hub right in canada and we have been manufacturing hub motors for the past eight years and have been, you know, dealing with hub motors for over 20 years. Yeah, you, so. guys, are, you guys are the hub motor kings, I will say. Uh -huh. If anybody ever wants hub motors, I would say almost always have said, go check out Grin. They're going to have the That's motor nice. you guys. Thank you. No, I mean, you guys, nice. are the, I mean, you guys have specialized in it. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys have every single hub motor kit there is for whatever bike you need or whatever. Exactly. If you're into a hub motor kit and you want the best one, I always say yeah. go to Grin. Maybe there's a new king in town. Yeah, maybe there is. I mean, I'm just going to say that I really don't like mid drives that much. But uh, maybe maybe today will convince me otherwise. No, you know? and and you haven't really liked uh, hub drives in the past, so maybe today will convince you. That's otherwise. true. They're, these are not for you, and these maybe are this generally could be like not for me. Unlikely love story, you know. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some hill climbing tests. We got some super steep hill climbs. We got some eh, maybe a little bit more eh, less gradient, whatever this is. Okay, so this first hill we're gonna do it's gonna be no pedaling, uh, up a, about a six percent grade is like a I don't know 20 percent incline it's pretty steep but nothing crazy it's just a long quarter mile long stretch uh, and I will say in this first test I started using uh, my photon on my specialized roll so this one's gonna be pulling about 2,000 watts and the grins peaks out at about 3,000 watts no pedaling no pedaling oh Johnny Johnny no Whoa, am I freaking out at this point? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I just got smoked <laughs> going up there. Now I realize I'm like, oh, wait a second. I didn't change gears at all. I was just in first gear, which means that motor was spinning out at like 12 miles an hour and it just physically couldn't spin faster. So the grin motor is able to just spin a lot faster and they were able to go up at like 20 miles an hour where I just mechanically stopped out at 12. So I'm like, all right, let's do this again. This time, duh, let's shift gears. That's the whole point of a, of a mid-drive. So let's try it again. Do oh. it, go. Giving Johnny a little head start here. And... I don't know, Johnny. I don't know, Johnny. Okay, what is happening here? I was shifting gears on that one. However, I realized I was shifting gears with still without pedaling. So I was shifting under power and there were really hard clunks, but I, I still got smoked. I had a running start and he still, I didn't get smoked as bad, but I still, he still eat past me. Man, I'm freaking out. I, I truly am freaking out right now. Like he's killing me up these hills. I'm like, all right, let's go find a slightly steeper hill. Let's go try to do this. Here you go. And it is important to note in that last hill, I switched over to my Coast Buzz Raw bike that has the BBS HD motor on it. And it's geared a little bit smaller, a little bit, little bit torquier, but I still got beat up the hill. And it, it is important to note that the, the, the hub motor, the Grin all axle is pulling about 3000 watts throughout these tests. And mine are maxing at 2000, between about 17 and 2000 watts. So it, 
It's not completely apples to apples, but they, they both are still stock kits. Um, so yeah, either way, their motor is, is, is beat me. And at this point I'm getting pretty sick of getting beat at my own game. So I said, all right, let's go. This is where I go do my performance hill test. I call it the Widowmaker. It's like a 45 degree angle pretty much. Um, I don't know what grade that is, but I said, let's go here. Uh, we put a 72 volt battery on their motor. So they're running the all axle at 72 volts, which is really cool because that, that motor's super flexible with voltage. Uh, I'm still running 52 volt and they're gonna be running 72 volt. Let's go do the ultimate hill test. Three, go. go. Ah. Okay, so that was just from like a dead, dead stop at the worst part, like the very beginning of that hill from a dead stop. That's like the worst conditions possible. Here we're gonna do a little bit of a running start where motors get a chance to spool up and we'll see how they kind of go against each other there. Oh, hello. Oh, baby. Ah. Mm. Oh. Okay, so you can see with a little bit of a running start, the grin all axle can make it up the Widowmaker. Mid-drive, put in the correct gear, can climb that thing all day pretty much. But that's just where a mid-drive really shines is those super steep hills when you need like to pinpoint the power to a specific thing. The grin all axle, that direct drive motor, was a, an amazing this all-purpose motor. It kind of, it didn't have amazing power at any one point, but it had very, very good power at all points. So depending on what kind of riding you need to do, it, it, it made a very strong case for itself. As far as commuting, if you're not really in so much into pedaling, um, this is a great commuter. Uh, one thing to note too is the tire sizes. Uh, the tire size on my bike with the mid drive is 20 by four inch and the hub motor bike has 26 by four inch tires. So that's quite a big difference of circumference and it's all part of the gear ratio. This isn't a complete apples to apples comparison. You know, if they were to put on smaller tires, it definitely would have more torque. I really want to redo this and have it apples to apples and, and redo things. Another thing, you know, that we didn't even really touch on here that I want to do a whole nother video about is the efficiency of these motors because their motor supports regen. We need to factor that in and we really didn't even touch into that. So I just want to briefly touch, touch on about this. We did two different uh, hill climbing tests and we were able to capture the data from it. And you can see here that one test on their motor was 23.1 kilometers an hour and a net average of 18.1 watt hours, which is 0.7835 watt hours per kilometer an hour. And I'll break this down in a second. Uh, and the next test was 26.2 kilometers an hour at 20 watt hours a mile. So they went a little bit faster and they burned a little bit more. Um, but that one was 0.7633 kilometers I'm sorry, watt hours per kilometer. The lower the number is better. So their their best one was 7633. Now on mine, we went an average of 27.9 kilometers an hour and we burned 23 watt hours per, per kilometer with the average of 0.8243. So again, their best was 7633. Mine was 8243. The other test that we got came back corrupted. So we were only able to get one sample from the mid drive and this was off the photon. So it's not super, super scientific. And again, I want to redo this again. I want to redo this testing and do a, like a long 20 mile ride and go and, and see what, what we get from there. Now this motor does come at a premium price uh, and I do offer it at my website. This is, this is one of the, one of the very few hub motors that I would proudly offer on my website. If you guys know, I've, I've always been a mid-drive guy. I've offered hub motors just kind of as a pittance because I've had so many people just like, hey, I need this, I need a replacement, or I want to do it for whatever reason. So I, I have carried hub motors, but I would say the Grin All Axle is the first one that I'm like proudly carrying. And if you do want to order through me, you can order through uh, ebikes.ca. You can order directly through Johnny Nerda. I'm an American-based, uh, United States-based seller, so you don't have to pay any import duties if you order from me and it's shipping inside the United States. If you do order from Canada, you may be subject to tariffs and import fees and all that. So if you want to support the shop and support them, 
head to johnnynerdout.com uh, or click the description below if you'd like to get that. Or if you wanna get a mid-drive, click on the link below, take us right to the website. If you need help deciding, if you need help putting together your cart or anything like that, you can either call our shop or you can book a consultation if you wanna speak with me directly. Only person out there that you could actually speak to a, a, an expert live in real time. I think I'm the only one that, that offers this service, that you know who you're talking to and yeah. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, it was a lot of fun. And uh, if you'd like to stick around, I'm gonna add some little extra bonus footage here at the end, just recapping. First of all, I wanna say I'm very blown away by this motor. Mm. Uh, very impressed by what you guys did. This yeah. thing has by far the most torque that I've ever felt from a hub motor, especially running 52 volts. Really incredible. I mean, that's- uh, I, Yeah, I kind of blew you away a couple times. You had to find yeah. the right gearing to keep up with me even one time you did. Yeah, so we first started, I used my CYC Photon um we had a couple of missed starts and he was just smoking me like absolutely smoking me it's a small motor though it is a very yeah. small motor i mean yeah. it's yeah it's... and eventually you did kind of you did kind of keep up with once it. i started using my gearing yeah i started oh, really? before i just put it in one gear and i let it go and it just yeah. kind of mm, you just smoked me yeah. but when i was able to shift my gears i was able to get there but yeah the, the this hub motor really just kind of had that smooth power band all the way across absolutely. and hit max and stayed mm -hmm. there yeah i put this motor to the test on this trip I'm gone up the most crazy steep hills and down them as well and not had to use the brakes a single time I, yeah um so it's impressive that way uh but then we used your bbs hd yeah on the super steep stuff yeah the bbs hd I, from a I dead still think, start yeah from a dead start no pedaling yeah i mean you just it's the gearing ratio it's i mean you ratio, it's yeah it's just yeah. using that mechanical leverage to yeah. get that super technical riding you, i don't know how often you come across that super steep stuff mm. some people will and i do those tests because like very few people do but i i do those tests it's just so like this is not very likely but it, it's possible you could come across that but yeah very highly unlikely yeah when i was in the sand dunes and i was trying to go up some of the steepest stuff with terrible traction like of course it's sometimes just not able so i have to walk right. up yeah. walk up and get some speed yep. so I can get up the other side. And that's where this is going to shine. But then we also did another test where it was kind of in between the two. And this one still still beat this one. Yeah, now, with like a 20-foot head start? Yeah. Totally beat you. Still, I mean, this thing still, and even then we switched bikes and I was able to ride it. And it, it, it's got really good pull, especially mm -hmm. once that momentum is going just a little bit. Yeah. Like, even if you're like three or four miles per hour, mm -hmm. it's it then feels like it just wants to pull, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Yeah, I don't hate hub motors. I definitely don't hate hub motors. I, I'm still a mid-drive guy just because I like to use my gears, but yeah. I would not be ashamed to ride that. Yeah. And I'm definitely looking forward to carrying that in my shop, for yeah. sure. Like I that's, think that you should. I think that also you should get one on your own bike and just be riding it around for a little while and see if, you know, it's just see because it's kind of interesting. Like once I've tried out mid-drives, which on before this trip, I had barely tried out mid-drives before. Really? Barely, like literally like maybe once or twice. And it's kind of hard for me to revert because I've been in, you know, uh, the first time I rode an electric bike was 20 years ago. So that was a long time. It was a hub drive for sure. And I didn't. Oh, yeah, they all were. Dress. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's hard for me to transition to having to think about what gear I'm in to get the appropriate power for whatever situation, power or speed. Because if you're in the wrong gear, then you get no speed. You could have tons of torque, but then it's doing nothing. Right. Because it's not going fast enough. And that's Whereas and this is just a direct transfer into the wheel. And you don't have to ever think about what exactly. you're in, ever. So exactly. it's just like single-minded. And I, but I will say, like, purist cyclists, I think, kind of like being in the right gear all the time. They kind of like, mm -hmm. they like doing that. Yeah. But if you're not that way, and you just want to like have fun, and you just want to go. I mean, this is this is fun on wheels for mm -hmm. sure. absolutely. Well, because I like the fact that you can just stay in the same gear all the time. Yeah. And still have the same power. Exactly. You're not going to like but bog I mean, it like, down. I never really shift gears on any of the electric bikes that I have. Because no. they're all hub drives and I'd rather just be in the, you know, the highest gear all the time. It, it, right. And that's what, it com that what it, that's what it boils down to. I've come to realize is that some people don't like to, they don't want to worry about, they don't want to worry about that stuff. They just want to ride and have mm -hmm. fun and just worry about the ride. Mm -hmm. Not about shifting gears and all that stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's no, there's nothing, it's just a difference. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that a lot of people, they'll ride mid-drives like that, and then mm -hmm. they'll have problems. They'll break chains, they'll damage. Oh, for sure. And then they're like, I don't yeah. like mid-drives. And it's like, well, yeah, you have to shift. You, yeah. you have to be shifting. You have to yeah. be engaging with it. It's like a manual yeah. transmission car. Yeah, exactly. You're not just going to put it in one gear mm -hmm. and ride it. You're going to cause engine damage. You're going to cause transmission of damage. Course. And I drive a manual transmission car, and I love it. 
<laughs> which is weird. You're a walking contradiction. <laughs> I know. Oh man. All right. But yes, indeed, the uh, this motor is definitely an option for people who are looking for like a high power off road machine. Uh, I mean, you get to take advantage of it if you're using you know upwards of 1500 watts. That's when you're really going to feel how much fun it is. Um, and you said this will this will handle 3,000 watts? Well, today I saw this pulling 3,000 watts, and unfortunately our dashboard app wasn't collecting the data appropriately, and I tried the hill three times trying to get it to work, so there was some sort of hiccup there. I played with the Bluetooth dongle, and it didn't want to it didn't want to work. So, yes, on that hill where I beat you both times, even when I gave you a 20-foot head yeah. start. Oh, it wasn't even, honestly, I, it wasn't uh, even close. I was pulling 3,000 watts, and I yeah. think yours was probably around 1,000 to 1,500 watts. So it's yeah. kind of unfair, but if you put 3,000 watts through that thing, what would happen? Oh, man, that would be a good video for another thing. I bet well, you... Would it, would it be skipping gears, and, like, the chain would be coming off? Or? Not if I had it in a, in a low gear. If I had it in a low gear where the chain was grabbing around enough teeth, yeah. I think it would be able... I think it would be yeah. okay as See, long as you're not. I don't want to have to think about that when I'm riding my e-bike. Right. You know? right. I, and yeah. that's that's fair. That's so weird. That's fair. It's so. Weird. I do, but that's fair. Uh huh. But sometimes I, I don't. When I stop in, my, in the wrong gear, and I'm like, crap, I'm in the wrong gear. I got to yeah. start back up. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No, totally. Um, so yeah, that was a really fun day, though. I'm really glad we went. Super good. And hey, tried that out. And hopefully, we could bury the hatchet between this this ongoing America and Canadian beef that we've had for centuries. This centuries old beef. What's yeah. Let's, no, I'm kidding. I'm no! kidding. I'm kidding. Let's be, let's squash the beef. <sighs> oh no. Okay. All right. It's, it's never going to be squashed. We'll try. Daddy. I know. Well, all right. It's never going to be squashed. You know what? Get out of here. Go all back right, to I'm Canada. Gone. I'm gone, buddy. So sorry about that, guys. Uh, I should have never invited Canada down here. Back bad. See you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I started on was my CYC, oh my God. CYC. 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 Was my CYC Photon. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, let's do a second take.